Okay, I think this is recording. Yeah, all right. This video is how to make eggs. This is for Lisa. I'm making a whole bunch of cooking things for her because I, I don't know if she knows how to cook eggs. I don't know if she knows how to break an egg. So I'm going to... This is probably going to be about a, a 10 minute video on how to make an egg omelet type thing. This is just going to be one of my shorter videos because I really can't extend it any longer than what I'm going to be doing. It's just going to take just a short amount of time. So you want to get some butter. I don't like using butter because it always sets off my smoke detector, but if I don't use butter then... Ooh, that's way too hot. you got to get the pan hot, but you don't want to make it too hot, but you want it hot enough. So I think that made sense. Uh, the butter is already starting to burn. It just makes it so it's easier to uh, to turn them around. Okay, so I've got my fork here, and that's how I break my eggs. I just snap them over the, the fork. Make sure you don't have any egg pieces in there. And I break the yolk right away. Because it is easier to deal with. I'm going to be using four eggs. I don't know if Lisa can eat four eggs. I think she can. She usually eats all this Chinese stuff with... Lots of sugar in it, or lots of salt in it, that MSG. Oop, there's an eggshell in there. Oops, oops, oops. I think I got it out. Nope, he's still there. Still there, still there. Okay, it's on the edge, and... Okay, so that's what you want to do. Break up four eggs. You don't need to use my cool trick breaking them over a fork. A lot of times I like using a knife because it's easier. So, cook it on, I've got it way too hot. You want to cook it on like medium-high so that it starts to uh, cook and not burn. And then what I like to do, I know you're Italian. Well, I'm Italian too for the video. So I take a little bit of Italian spaghetti sauce and I pour it right on the top. I forget what they call this. Um, there's a name for it. Uh, for that type of omelet where you put spaghetti sauce on the top or on the inside and then you put cheese on it and then you fold it over and then you have uh, some green, diced green peppers in there. But All right, so that's what I've got now. Where the heck's my spatula? Oh, man, if I can't find the spatula, I'm in big trouble. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, let it cook a little bit. I think you, you can do that. Stand there and uh, try not to go to the computer while you're doing this. Don't watch any movies. Um, just let it do its cooking thing. And cook a little. It's starting to get cooked on the bottom, but it's definitely mushy and runny on the top. That's why you want to keep the temperature a little bit low. If this was being done at a restaurant, they would have this thing on a very high heat, and they would spread it out all over the place and then push it all back together, and it would cook in about a minute, a minute and a half. But I don't have a big pan. And I don't have it at the right temperature, so um, I need to get the top cooked enough so that I can turn it over. It's not going to be easy because there is a lot of yolk in here. Sometimes you can move it to the side and roll it down and try to get more of the egg underneath to cook. That works. All right, everybody, make sure that you... Thumbs up all my videos, subscribe to my awesome channel, go to the main page, click on that donate support link that Google put up there, and donate to my life. Because knowing how to make eggs is going to get you through life, and you're learning it here in this video. Okay, so I'm trying to get the rest of the loose egg off of the top and underneath the egg to try to cook so that it cooks evenly and I'm able to turn this over soon without making a huge mess. This is going to come out really good, so just hang in there. If 
this doesn't work, then I offer cooking lessons in L.A. <clears throat> you can come over here, spend a couple years, and I'll teach you how to make an egg. There you go. Okay, it looks like it's almost done on the top. It looks like I'll be able to turn it. It's still a little runny. Tomato sauce is a little runny. But it is runny, but that's why you want to have a bendable... You want to have a, a spatula where you can really bend it, but you don't want... You want the, the tip where you can bend. Not too much, but you don't want one of those things that's square and impossible to bend the handle. You want to have some ability to... Let me show you. You want to have some ability to be able to bend it like that. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back in so you don't see my messy counter. And I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to scoop underneath. I'm going to turn it as best I can. And made a little bit of a mess. Turn the rest of it. Okay, good. That's why you need to cook it a little bit underneath so that it doesn't have all the egg whites slopping all over the place. All right, now the bottom's going to cook in a really short amount of time and finish off the egg. And while that's happening, what you do is you grab that thing of spaghetti sauce and you pour just a little bit in the middle. Excellent, most perfect. I think this is olive oil, garlic, basil. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to let it, uh, I'm going to let the bottom cook just a little bit longer. Okay, it seems like it's firm right now. The tomato sauce is starting to do a little bit of cooking. It's going to burn soon. And then you take your egg and you fold it over. Well, look at that, Lisa. Is that not incredible? Okay, that's going to set off the smoke detector. Is that not amazing? You could learn how to do that if you moved in here. But if you don't want to move in, you can still watch my awesome video and I'll teach you how to cook. Oh, yummy, yummy, that looks so good. All right, that is my video on how to make a four-egg omelet with spaghetti sauce. Looks good, smells great, tastes delicious, and how long did this take? It didn't take really long. I can't see the screen, but hey, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and make this stuff and let me know how it comes out for you.